Hey everyone. What's up, Bears? What's up, Senko? Both Senkos. We got Senko on YouTube and Twitch chat. How are you guys doing tonight? I didn't realize that I had started, well, technically early. Uh, I thought I clicked on 8 o'clock as my start time, and then looking at YouTube, I think I clicked just one down and hit 8.15. <laughs> Whoops. But, uh, hey. We're here for some RimWorld. Hopefully everyone's having a good week so far. I know it's only Tuesday. And work's already keeping me busy. But it's it's good to be busy in my job, so. Oh, these are actually cool. It's perfect? That's great to hear. It's Tuesday in the United States. Tuesday in the United Kingdom. <laughs> it's Tuesday, isn't it, governor? I have, uh... I have some uh, British viewers. Maybe they'll appreciate that. Or, uh... Maybe they'll uh, hate me for it. <laughs> Tuesday in Canada. Do you guys say day that... Oh, yep, yeah, there's Corax. <laughs> I don't even know. I know you guys have regional uh, dialects. Maybe not dialect. Accents in in uh, the UK over there. Is the is the Tuesday Govna? Is that a stereotype or is that an actual is that an actual factual accent over there? Milk Day in Willand. Every day is Milk Day. Our drink our oat milk because we can't drink cow's milk anymore. It's more Southerner. See, okay, so it's not. I mean, it is a stereotype, but it's not a made-up accent. You're from the north, so you have like a Sargon of Akkad accent, isn't he from the north? Near York. Oh, he's just doxing himself in chat. More total biscuit, rest in peace. I liked Total's uh I like TB's accent. He had a good speaking voice. Uh, I be honest, I did start an off-stream playthrough of the Anomaly DLC, and this stuff is, uh... Hey, what's up, Lux? This, uh... There's some scary stuff out there in the horror. That's like me saying I'm from PA. Pennsylvania? It doesn't narrow it down. I guess... Yeah... Living up on Helldivers, nice. I tried playing Helldivers the other night, and I joined a friend for one round, but it was, like, already on the extraction part. And, uh... I was just bugging out crazy. Like, I... I swapped from zooming in on... I was using the upgraded sniper rifle. They took, like, the counter sniper, and they upgraded it to medium armor penetration, so I was like, okay, I can't wait to try this out and see how the medium armor pen works. And I was zoomed in, and then I swapped to my rocket launcher to, like, blow something up. And then, like, I stayed zoomed in on the rocket launcher, fired the rocket launcher, and it was the, uh, expendable anti-tank. So I threw the rocket launcher away, and then I was, like, stuck zoomed in on my fists. Like, I couldn't swap to my gun or anything else. So. I was like, well, I'm... That was a fun session of me doing nothing. My anomaly run is so slow because I settled in a cold bog and it's cold. <laughs> I've never done a cold playthrough of Wormworld. I've done... Um, a 50 cal finger gun. If only I could... 
Wait, no. If, I was going to say, if only I could kill them with my finger gun. I cannot grow. I need sun lamps. Ah, see, so you're hunting. I've done a... De not desert, but like an arid playthrough one time. And that one was okay, but you keep getting alpha beavers that show up and eat all the trees on the map, and then you run out of wood. That's a random uh, event. Just install a gun on your fake arm. If only my arm was fake, but I totally would have a berserk cannon or a trigun gun in my arm if I had a prosthetic arm. That's what I would do. That would be so cool. If I was in RimWorld, I would totally have the body modder trait. I'd be like, yeah, take away my fleshy bits. Give me the Arcotech stuff. Give me the bionic stuff. I want bionic organs. I want bionic eyes. I want Arcotech limbs. Give it all to me. Well, instead of talking about my other playthrough, why don't we, uh, why don't we hop into our playthrough? I don't know if Arizona made gamers here tonight, but he changed his Twitter name. <laughs> I just saw the scroll across my timeline. He changed his Twitter name. Have you you've seen the like like the sex in bio or boobs in bio or you know OnlyFans in bio and they have like the little patchy parts that break up each of the letters? So he changed his name to my nuts in bio. And I'm just cracking up at that. Okay, so, oh, hey, it's our, it's our little base. It's definitely little. Um, all right. Oh, I have to have the bot up because we need names. Uh, since it's a new run, I started a whole new queue. So, uh, if you haven't typed exclamation point join. Yet, you're not in the running. I only have one name in the queue, so the next person who joins, I know who they'll be. But if you want a chance, you can type exclamation point join. All right, so we have a sight stealer. Oh, well, let's go through who we got, everyone, real fast. Hey, we got Senko in number two. Also, what's up, Blazing Frost? You sent someone talking about boobies, and you are here. Excellent. Uh, hey, we got Mares and Blazing Frost. Good, good. Oh, wait, you guys want to hear the game, do too, don't you? Uh, no, you can type it in Twitch or YouTube. It does not matter. It looks like Twitch is faster because we had two people type it in YouTube. And the bot, the bot might take a second. I don't know why. No, you don't have to do both. Okay. We have Korax. Aura Master. They were the two scientists that landed with their zombified friend, Jin15. We have Master Doctor, who is an 8-year-old. Vincent, who is a 9-year-old. Merlin. What are you, Merlin? Super immune, bloodlust, psychically sensitive. Very good pawn. Darn Sig. Oh, you were our creepy join. You have the body mastery. Doesn't have basic needs like eating, sleeping, or comfort. His body is driven by some unknown mechanism, which has turned his eyes completely white. Uh, Jake, Pinky, Estelle, and Drillmast are uh, refugees who have joined us temporarily. How does the game work? Um, so we have this little spot of land that's ours and we just try to stay alive uh i gotta keep everyone fed and happy and clothed and in decent temperature and uh okay we're working on geothermal power to make a geothermal generator so we'll have infinite power pretty much We have a spot right here for a geothermal plant as soon as we research it. We have our alpaca farm. 
and it's raining. Pinky and Estelle don't have appropriate weapons. Yeah. <laughs> They're refugees. I'm not going to give them guns. Because they could betray us if I armed them. And we don't want that. Why I darn sig equals low tier Hugo ripoff. Did I see the Armored Core 6 co-op mode is out? Uh, yeah. Uh, Gondola and I are probably going to do a co-op playthrough of the game. I think that will be a lot of fun. Oh yeah, I have everyone gathering every component that we have on the map because someone went insane and broke 36 components. <laughs> Politics side will. It's uh it's how you got to survive on the rim, man. You can't give guns out to everyone who comes across the base. Death penalty? I was highly tempted. I was highly tempted to uh, throw throw that person out. Actually, no, it should be under messages. No, Merlin went berserk. Oh yeah, Karma Kid died of the plague. Rip, Karma Kid. Where was this? Tantrum, Aura Master. Aura Master destroyed 36 components. Is there any way to control the characters? Yes. Uh, so I can write, I can select them and I can tell them to do, like I can tell this one to clean. But for the most part, it's automated like The Sims. So, um, this schedule right here, uh, assigns their jobs. This should all be on one. Uh, so it works left to right. So firefighting is more important than researching. And then the numbers also determine the, uh, the higher, the closer to number one is the higher priority it's going to work. So they're going to work left to right and check all their one jobs. And then all their two jobs, and all their three jobs, and then the four jobs. And then anything that's blank, they either can't do, or they're not skilled enough to do, and I am not letting them do it. So. That's all that. Are you sick? Why do I have you in bed? Oh, I found there was a bug in one of the mods I was using. What did Join do anyway? So I can name the people in the game. And uh, what I like to do with RimWorld is I like to name the characters after my viewers. So I typing join added you to a list that should uh, update. It updated on Twitch, but it didn't update on YouTube. Hang on, I'm going to turn off the bot and turn it right back on. See if that fixes it. Please use shells. I have some shells. You don't like, you don't like my mess of everything on the ground? We probably should use shells, because I'd imagine shells would probably, uh, protect our goods from getting broken. Does the items on the ground make them think that the barracks is crappy? Hey, what's up, Daniel? Uh, so far, so good on the surviving front. Turn on beauty display. Oh my god. It's a lot of minus sevens. Hey, Sanko, thank you for following on Twitch. Welcome to the workshop. 
Wait, why did it play that sound and not my Final Fantasy sound? Grizzly bear hunting darn sig. We like darn sig, so we don't want him to get hunted. Merlin is on an insulting spree. Alright, well, we're gonna have Jin go fight that. Wait, where's the way out of the base? Oh, there it is. And I don't have run and gun. <laughs> Shells fixed six items in two spaces. Yeah, that's true too. So one of the bugs that we had was it completely removed the melee skill for our ghoul. Wow, how does our ghoul only have two melee? Well, two's better than nothing, so... I wonder if this is a skill that they can train up. Oh, it does train up. Okay, so our ghoul can learn how to shoot their punch stuff better. Oh, our master, I need you to come out here. You have the chain shotgun. Korax, you have the sniper rifle. Oh, God. No, 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 no. We can't let Darn Sig die. He's got the really OP ability. Oh, Korax, Korax! Okay. All right, we defeated the bear. Better learn how to shoot, punch stuff. Shooting is remote punching with small brass knuckles. Uh, something like that. What determines the names? Uh, well, I like I said, I pick the name from people who uh, hit join in chat. Names don't give special powers. The powers are inherent to the character themselves. So they spawn with their their skills and traits. Darn Sig joined us as a... In the anomaly, it's called like a creepy join event. And that's because he has this body mastery ability. There might be something else to him that we don't know yet. But for now, all we just know is he doesn't eat or sleep. And that might just be creepy enough for us. Oh, I should probably put shells in the pantry. Store our food in. Okay. Oh, was there a quest we were waiting on? Okay, no. So we're taking care of four refugees. We have to protect this monument for 15 more days. Combat supplier. We might talk to them. Oh, our master is really high social. So, oh, we have a ton of ambrosia, so I'll get us some money. They don't have components. They have medicine. We'll take that. We could buy a chain shotgun from them. Might not be a bad idea. I find the chain shotguns to be really good against all the anomalous entities that try to attack us. Actually, we could buy a chain shotgun and an assault rifle. And have 750 silver left over. Oh, we have Yayo to sell them. Yayo. Whatever it is. Drugs. We can get rid of the drugs. All right, good enough.
Cool. All right, so who do we need to give better guns to? Oh, Merlin doesn't even have a gun. Congrats, Merlin, you get a chain shotgun. Korax is hunting, so the sniper rifle might be good for him. Should have kept the drugs, made a cracked out Zerker. Uh, Yayo is just really good at keeping your characters awake. Wait, no, hang on. Merlin's got a pump shotty, doesn't he? Answer is yes, but that doesn't mean he can't get... mean you can't upgrade from the pump shoddy to the chain. I was gonna say, did it disappear? But no, I think one of the kids picked it up. Oh, I hope we're not picking up tainted apparel. No. that stuff out of here. Wait, where did my chain shotgun end up? Oh, I told Master Doctor to pick it up. Whoops. You know what? That's fine. He's literally a tough kid. Merlin would probably do better with the assault rifle. Okay. Have I ever recruited a hussar? Actually, Karma Kid was a hussar, so we were... Um, we researched how to make Gojus, and then Karma died of malaria. But his character was sickly, so he was getting random diseases all the time. Uh, so it was, it was probably for the best. What am I right now? Uh, well, I haven't gotten anyone new added to the game yet, so I haven't had to pull a name. Okay, let me see if it's working on YouTube. Okay. Alright, YouTube chat, you guys should be able to join the Q QA. So I know Mares and Blazing Frost typed it earlier. The bot was not working on YouTube chat for some reason, so it should work now. I probably don't remember you. Um, if you changed your name, I don't, but hey, I'm glad you liked the, uh, the old streams, man. <laughs> That's like three years ago, though. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm doing great, and we're, we're still streaming, and I'm working on, um, making videos and stuff, and chilling. I mean, it's a, it's a different type of thing, but yeah. Hey, I'm glad you stopped by. Would it was it just Merc or Merc Ava? I mean, I'm assuming that you were there for the uh, <laughs> those uh, Friday night drinking game streams. <laughs> those were a blast, man. I've watched a, a little bit of the. Uh, It was Merkava's back then? Okay, alright. Yeah, it's been a while, so if I don't remember you right away, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've I've watched a little bit of uh, the Street Fighter Six stuff, but he is so unsufferable these days to watch. He... It was... 
it was fun back in the day because it was like he'd actually try and fail at things and now it's just I, I mean he was kind of already doing this but it was it's just so boring now I mean I unironically to some degree I think I unironically liked watching him and now it's uh I'm glad we all moved on. Yeah. <laughs> it's what happens, man. I've been streaming for years. How much do you think I've improved since the beginning? Uh, oh my god. If you could see some of the streams and videos I did way back in the day. Uh, oh my god. My mic quality was so bad. Uh, my, vi my video editing was practically non-existent. Um, so I feel like I've learned a lot. Uh, uh, I don't know. I probably have some bad habits, but my, my alchemy, <laughs> so to speak, has gotten. Hey, what's up, Pavel? I miss dr drinking games. Those were legendary. Yeah, I wish. I, I, I don't know. Like, my body just hates alcohol now, so I can only do it as a, as a once in a while treat for myself. It's not something where I can be like, all right, guys, I'm going to slam back. You know, a ton of whiskey or a <laughs> eight beers in one night like I used to, man. Health just, health just don't, won't allow it. Current Will wouldn't show his Twitter timeline? Yeah. Yeah, I have definitely learned uh, certain mistakes. Uh, and learned not to make those mistakes again. It is dangerous, so you need to be careful. Yeah. It was fun back then. We had we had some rules, some drinking game rules, and we streamed every Friday night. We streamed for about four hours every night. Here we go. He's asking for one colonist, 13 years or older, for seven days. I can get advanced components, which are important. I can get xenogenetics or plant up to level 12. Okay, that's not bad. How's our plant levels? Oh, we got a couple growers. I think I'll just take the advanced components. Who do we want to give up for a week? I could probably give up Merlin. Because all he's good at is artistic. I mean, he's a good shot, too. Um, Darn Sig is really OP. This body mastery trait is just insane. It'll be insane until he, like he's like, okay, I'm actually a... I don't know, a monster in disguise, and I'm gonna eat everyone. Master Doctor and Vincent are too young to go. I guess that just leaves it to Merlin. Korax and Aura Master, of course, also really good. We can't give them up. And I, I think it's safest to take the advanced components. <clears throat> I don't know. There's some things I wish I did when I started this new channel three years ago that I am just now figuring out. Uh, some of it's like OBS settings, which is like, now that I know what certain filters do in OBS, it's like, well, I, I wish I knew that all that time ago. Goodbye, Merlin. We got our components already. He'll be back in a week. Hopefully, that we'll still be here in a week. Okay, looks like we got plenty of food. Our rice harvest is coming in. Everything looks good. Sorry, I'm still laughing at the, uh, exposing my own, uh, Twitter timeline that one time. That was, a, that was a blunder. I wish I knew all that time ago. Me and Elden Ring, I finished the entire game before learning you can counter after blocking with the shield. Oh, you didn't know you could guard counter? 
that's how I played my first time through, was just using a 100% physical absorb shield and a spear. And it was just like, hold up my shield, get hit, guard counter. And guard counters, I think, had extra poise damage on them too, so it led to staggers. There was even a talisman that would improve your guard counters, make them do more damage. How did you miss it? <laughs> How did you miss that, man? I was just talking and just streaming in general, not just Elden Ring. I hope SCP-682 doesn't show up here. So far, we've only had one of these. It was a Sight Stealer, which is the first one that you get. I should probably build another containment cell, because I'm sure we're going to get more of these guys. I just don't know how I want to expand and lay out my base. I was trying to do... I see these designs on the RimWorld subreddit where they do like big circles concentric on top of each other and it looks cool. Um, I just don't know how feasible it is for what I'm doing. Though I guess I could do like a kind of really big circle up to the waterline maybe. Oh, but that would, might block my windmill. Uh, there are a ton of mods in Worm World, so I have a bunch of them loaded. Uh, what's up, Valour? I saw you sneak in there at number four. You're you're number one in North America. Uh, I was gonna say, oh, here, I don't have as many mods as I used to, but that's because the new the new expansion came out. So yeah, it's modded. Plus, we had an expansion come out last week, uh, and the expansion is. Um, horror themed uh so it's kind of it it feels scp like that's why i put it in the title because we captured this anomalous monster a dark entity and we can come over here and we can research it and this little machine right here is it's a called a biofarite harvester so it's a new material they added these entities can be sucked for their biofarite and then there's a whole bunch of different stuff we can make with the biofarite. So it's important to grab these guys and suck them. <laughs> I'm doing good. How are you, Valor? Uh, but they will get angry and they will break out. So you can have containment breaches, just like a whole bunch of SCP stories. So. Hi, am I in this or was that a previous one? Uh, you are not in this one, Aura. I said Aura. Arrow. Why did I say Aura? Where did that come from? Okay. Oh, it's because I have Aura Master. Speaking of Aura Master, it's time for you to convert Darn Sig. Wait, no. Who were we converting? Yeah, Ara from uh, Free Rin. <laughs> Ara Ara Master. <laughs> what is an SCP story, anyways? I've heard about them, but I've never seen them anywhere. So it's like a. Oh, it's a community of writers that write a bunch of uh, containment stories for various entities, and it's very horror driven. So it's like, like monsters and objects and things that, uh, so SCP stands for Secure, Contain, Protect. And in the SCP universe, there's a company called the Foundation. And so they research for these anomalous entities, these things that aren't expected that break like physics or reality and things like that in different ways. And, uh try to trap them so that way they can't wreak havoc on humanity. Uh, the most famous one is the original one, I think is SCP-173. It's a it's a monster that will uh, uh, it can't move while you're looking at it but it likes to run up on people and break their necks. The peanut, yeah. 
And he's really gross. Because the cell that they keep him in, for some inexplicable reason, always gets filled with something... It's like a, a blood feces mixture that they have to uh, clean out. And the cleaning is dangerous because if you don't synchronize your blinks, not synchronize, if you don't stagger your blinks and you all blink at the same time, he'll run up and kill someone. Some of the funny ones are too. One recent one is a snake that instead of skin sheds film reels. That's kind of hilarious. My favorite is the Ikea SCP. I'm not familiar with the Ikea one. I'm only familiar with a handful of them, and even then, like, my memory with it keeps getting hazy, and I keep forgetting which one's which. Oh, my alpacas are sick. This isn't good. Animal sleeping spots. Here you go, alpacas. Uh... One of my favorite concepts that SCP has explored uh, is ex is exemplified in, I think it's 55. Y yeah. Uh, yeah, SCP-055 is probably my favorite. The idea of an anti-meme is hilarious to me. Not hilarious, but like really fascinating to me too in the SCP universe. The idea that there are creatures and items that actively release pheromones or psychic energy or something that makes them either invisible to you or after you find it, you forget about it. And like to the level where some of these things can't be documented where uh, uh, you write it if you like write it down on a piece of paper, well the paper, it will get erased off the paper. If you try to write it into a computer, well the hard drive like whoop, will blip and you'll lose it. SCP-308 or 3008 Infinite Ikea. It's an Ikea where once you enter it's never ending, it's near impossible to escape. So much so people stuck in there have created communities and towns that have Ikea stuff. That's amazing. 055 is one of the best concepts of an anti meme. Yeah, and it led into one of my favorite stories. Uh, written by Quantum, Q N T M. And it's the Anti Mimetics Division Hub. And it starts with, We need to talk about 55. And it's a whole story of an SCP, the head of the Anti Mimetics Division. I think it's like Marion Webb. Or is it Webster? I don't remember what her web her last name is. Wheeler. Wheeler is her last name. Uh, and she she's like stumbling upon a big self-keeping secret that she's trying to expose. But the problem is the more you expose the secret, the more it enters into our reality. So she has to combat this without... Um, yeah, not Mary. <laughs> I realized when I said Webster, I was like, wait, hang on a second. <laughs> Think of the dictionary. Uh, so she has to fight something without knowing what she's fighting. It was, it was a really cool series of short stories. I really liked it. I'm trying to think of some of my other ones. There's the one... Uh, it's like the tower that takes you. Oh my gosh, I can't remember. I just remember it was written really well because they had a. Uh... What do they call them? They had an anti meme specialist enter this tower. Uh... Oh my god, I can't believe I'm not describing this at all. So they found this location that's like, it takes you to another dimension, but like the people in there become increasingly paranoid and feel like they're being hunted and they keep sending research teams armed with equipment and stuff. And each time they send in more, um, they don't make it back out, but they have some way of relaying information across dimensions. I got to devote a stream to SCP. Yeah, I should. 
it's an anti meme. Of course, you can't remember it well. What were we just talking about? Zero five five. All right, the thing that isn't round. Um, uh, God, it's killing me. I can't remember it. This one isn't an anti meme one. I just liked it because the the anti meme specialist is a foundation operative who is uh, blind and deaf. So they can't see and they can't hear. So certain cognito hazards can't interact with them. And they have some way of like using ASL and then they're like gloves relay their uh, what they're saying back to base or something. So the idea was they send them to this another dimension and hopefully the feeling of paranoia wouldn't affect them because they can't see or hear what is hunting them. And they find, like, the bodies of the other researchers and stuff like that. Man, I wish I could remember what it was. There was another SCP that I really liked, which was the... It was a whole other research base that had, like, blipped into our dimension from another dimension. And so... The Foundation sends a research team in to figure out what happened... And, and because they're getting radio signals from inside that people might still be alive. So they're trying to go back in and, you know, rescue the uh, survivors and then also recover any research. That, oh, what happened to Site 13? Yes, 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 that's, that's it. SCP-1730, one of my favorite stories to read because the person who wrote this put a crap ton of, like, exploration logs from the point of view of all... There's, like, three rescue teams that they send in. And so, like, the first team goes in and they get trapped and the second team goes in to try to rescue the first team and they get trapped and then they send in the third mobile task force. Um... It's fresh in my memory is there's a collab narration complete with illustrations out now. All right, I'll have to listen to that. Oh, actually, watch it, I guess, too, because now we have uh, illustrations. Yeah, that's a great one. As, that is one of my favorites to read. I keep forgetting the number, but it's like it is one of my favorite stories. I like 5,000 5, called Why? You're right, it is. No, at least it's safe. My problem with... It felt like a lot of the writers for SCP were, like, just trying to outdo each other in terms of either making things more and more fantastical and unrealistic, but then, like, also mysterious at the same time. And when it's, like, if you retcon everything, you know, it's not, like, the the unknown isn't as scary, if that makes sense. Yeah, there's another one that's really good that's explained entirely in pictures because if you write down anything about this SCP, it'll come and forcibly remove the memory from your head. It's in like the 4,000s. Do I have a favorite SCP mobile task force? Samsara, just because of how OP they are. I thought it was in the 4,000s. Could be wrong. I mean, I am wrong because I'm not seeing it. I'm just letting my game play, talking about SCP and scrolling through. Yeah, because I don't even think it's written down by numbers. I think it's written down by dots. Odd, it won't let me post the full title of the story in chat. I wonder if something's going on at YouTube because Senko said she can't uh, like the stream and now you're having issues posting even just a title. Just don't put a link. I have links disabled.
Aura could post, uh, Aura, Arrow could post the link. I did it again. I don't know why you're Aura in my head. What is the one of... <laughs> why did I disable links? You remember back in the day where we kept getting bots? So I disabled links to try to combat that. Holy cow, I can't find the one that is the... Am I thinking of 2512? I don't know. Am I thinking of 2512? No. No, no, no. It's entire... Unless they edited it, it's entire SCP article... was all drawings and higher like in hieroglyphs and like you couldn't even put the numbers down so they would do dot dot slash dot 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 slash dot slash dot 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 are these things kind of like the items in prey oh if i played prey i might be able to tell you but i'm not sure that, Cause and it's not just items. It's like two five one two's all pictures. I just pulled it up. SCP two five one two two five two one. Yes, that's the one I was thinking of. Thank you. I appreciate it. This is precisely what I was thinking of. So yeah, Kaden, they're like items that let like teleport you to other dimensions or let other dimensions interact with you. Um, maybe we should just stream SCP now. <laughs> I don't mind talking about SCP while RimWorld's going. Oh. Um, because RimWorld, unfortunately, has a whole lot of... Oh, Night Owl in the daytime. I can fix that. There's a bit of downtime in between some of the moments. Like, right now, I'm just waiting for one key piece of research to go through. Okay, when do you want to be awake and when do you want to sleep? Sleep, 11 to 18. Not so much dead air, just... Uh, <laughs> that was dead air because my brain was thinking. Um, only one cylinder was firing though. The uh, there's just a little bit of, or I also have it on Randy Random. So sometimes Randy just like gets sleepy and he doesn't feel like throwing random events at me. So uh, when was the last time I got raided? I haven't been raided in almost thirty days in thirty RimWorld days. Not thirty, twenty. But still, it's been a long time since I've been raided. Some SCPs are people with supernatural abilities, yep. Yeah, the Foundation is cruel and doesn't see them as human anymore. I do like the Cain and Abel SCPs. Those guys are cool. One well, of my friends a couple of years ago, she was doing uh, collab streams of reading their favorite, people coming in and reading their favorite SCPs. And I was interested, and then I was just too shy to like follow through and do it. And then she's never done it again, so it's just like, ah, oh, dang, <laughs> I missed out. But yeah, we should do, I don't know, maybe we could do an SCP stream in the future, why not? And we've seen SCPs referenced in, like, uh, Lethal Company. Like, the the tragedy mask that takes you over is, I think, supposed to be a reference to... Is that 049? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I say they're horror focused, but some of them are kind of are kind of funny. And then there's just some that are just inexplicable that are just interesting to think about if their existence was real. Like, um, isn't there like a a bunch of oh three five is the mask? My bad. Oh four nine's the doctor. Isn't there a um? I don't remember what number it is, but there's a, like a med kit or a pill bottle that has these pills that cure everything that they've put it to. Like anomalous diseases will be cured by it. Uh, hangovers will be cured by it. Uh, I can't remember what else. I don't remember what number it is. So it's not like... It's not like all these things exist to be uh, horrible. That's 500. Panacea. Yeah, the alchemical uh, drug of life-giving. That's what it's named after. Oh, look. See, I said I hadn't been raided in a while. And look, some, some Yadikin have shown up. All right, so hopefully I don't want my ghoul to run out and die. So I'm going to wake up the colony and go fight this stuff. Yeah, there's YouTube channels that do like fake interviews or, you know, like staged interviews with the, the entities. And I think that's just kind of fun to... It's like the plague doctor sees people as needing to be cured, but he can't describe what they need to be cured of. Alright, get him, Jin. Oh, wait, that's your hunger. Your health is fine. Okay, half health. Hey, what's up, Abby? 40%. Thirty-five. Okay. Hey, hey, you almost died. Uh, let's see. Oh, I do have I do have prisoner cells available. Hey, guess what, Mister Wu Shot Hoish? You are. Have I got the run and gun mod? Uh, nope. Um, it wasn't updated for. 1.5 and then I checked on the subreddit and found out that there is a big bug with it so I'm not going to use it right now if I were to have a pet SCP which one would you want would it obey me implicitly so it would never harm me I think is an important question Oh, that was a nasty sound. Oh, no! Okay, just a nasty sound. No one died. Hey, what's up, Karma? Yeah, we're war criming. We're, uh, we're taking a prisoner. Oh, wait, no! I was trying to stabilize him so I could bring him in safely, and now he's trying to run away. Wait, can I not arrest him? I oh, guess not. All right, Karax. <laughs> Korax is like, well, if you don't want to be taken prisoner, kapow. I also like the one that's the, uh, the drink machine that disposes whatever, uh, whatever drink you ask for it. Healed him just to kill him again. Yeah, you see this trait right here? This says psychopath. Korax has no empathy. <laughs> the suffering of others doesn't bother him at all. Korax just trained his medical skill on him just to shoot him.
If you do a non-anomaly start, the thing will crash land and try to attract colonists. Oh, so this crash lands no matter what, as long as you have the DLC installed. 999, is that the one I'm thinking of? The drink dispenser? No, that's the tick. Oh, you're talking about one that you would want to keep as a pet. Yeah, Tickle Monster would be a good one. What was the drink dispenser? Not on this one. There's another SCP that whenever you describe it, no matter how complex or simple, your description is always wrong. Interesting. High windows? Yeah, that was me. Searching. Is 106 the old man? Yeah, that's a classic one. Oh, man. Yeah, this dude just, like, fades through metal. Has a pocket dimension. He captures people and brings them in, and if you survive... You don't survive long. Give me the 166 as a pet. Oh yeah, there is an SCP of the butler. I forgot about that one. But I like the the interview logs with it because they're like, well, could you kill 682? And he goes, no, I don't think so. And then they ask, well, do you think you could harm 682? And he goes, yes, but, like, for how long do you think I could, like, distract it? Like, I could throw my body in front of it and it'd take a second to eat me, you know? I was like, man, that's pretty cool that it knows about the, um, the, the existence of other SCPs and how to counteract them and stuff. Yeah, that bell is really cool. It's tradition that when you describe it, you always add at least one error to your description. Okay. Alright, I didn't finish reading 166. There's a European female human in late teens with ungulate features. Possessing antlers, hooved feet, and a short tail? Common of reindeer. Within a 15 meter radi radius, artificial objects return to unworked state. It's an interesting choice of pet. Hey, what's up, Merlin? Oh, what's the... Which SCP's the giant machine that has a dial that lets you do, like, fine, coarse, very fine, and you put an item in, in the left-hand side, pull the lever, and it, like, refines or destroys the item on the other side. Geothermal power attained. Yes, let's go. I do want to put this here. It'll block my containment cell, so I might move my containment cell. My other idea is to put it here and just draw power into the base. We got plenty of components. My favorite SCP is the giant eel. I don't know which one the giant eel is. Nine nine one four. The clock works. Yes. I like the pictures. Just a couple of a couple of gears and a spur gear, and this is one of the least complex sections of SCP nine one four. Underwater SCPs are awesome. How many SCPs do I know? I, I've read through a bunch, but I, it's hard for me to say, like, if I remember the numbers or not. But, like, I can vaguely remember the descriptions. And that's usually enough to get me in and out of trouble describing these things. 
Okay, we have granite. That's good. Granite is a good, good stone. Yeah, we were talking about the drink machine earlier. <laughs> there was uh, one of my favorite entries in the... And it is like the guy asked for like the best thing ever. And so he drank this drink and then immediately became depressed <laughs> because nothing in life would ever come close to tasting like the best thing ever. <laughs> He's just horribly, uh, horribly depressed from it. It shouldn't be funny, but it is. I meant to do a wooden door. There we go. Uh, the living drawing. I don't know which one that is. There's more SCPs than Pokemon. Yeah, and it's unfortunate too because I can only remember SCPs through like little blips and pieces that pop into my head. Usually from my favorite type of SCPs besides the anti memes are the uh, are the ones that are. I need to play containment breach. Yeah, it's true. I do. She can go from paper to paper, didn't know she was a drawing. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, I played the one game, but I didn't play... There was a second game that Gondola played. I haven't played that one. <laughs> Waiting SCP anime series with waifus. I mean... It's not like it's a commercially licensed thing, so I don't think... I don't think it'd be a bad idea to do the... I, you know, like a, a horror movie based on the idea would be kind of cool. Like, you couldn't copy the SCPs, like, one for one, but, like, the idea of the foundation and otherworldly horrors and anomalous objects and dark entities and all sorts of stuff um, existing would be, would be a cool... Okay, maybe not movie. That would be a cool, like, uh, maybe TV show. Um, and like each episode can be either researching or capturing, uh, various entities. There are numerous attempts to claim all of the SCP genre. I call it X-Files or something. Was that what X-Files is about? Maybe I should watch X X-Files. Jill loved X-Files. She'll probably be mad, mad at me that I won't even know what it's about. Um... Here we go. A comprehensive list of K-class scenarios. Okay. These are some of my favorite SCPs. SCPs that theoretically could end the world. I should watch Arcane and Pluto. I was just talking to Jill uh, before the stream and she said we need to watch Arcane, so. We are definitely gonna do it. Watch Arcane, that is. I love ones with exploration logs too. What SCP would you want in the movies? I think like the classic ones like 035, 049, 106. I think you would have to include. Or would be a good idea to include. I feel like they're more memorable because they've been featured in like the games and stuff. And since they're some of the earlier entries, I think that means they've been around the longest. So there's a little bit more, or a little bit more. There's a lot more history with them. Pluto's Murder Mystery Astro Boy. We got close to watching it, but she, we ended up watching something else. We need that SCP that's a god that's only because he wanted it to be. Yeah, I think... Was it Karma who said that? 
there's a... Oh no, Arrow said it. There's a Christian version of God who willingly chooses to be kept in containment. There's also... Don't they have Santa Claus in containment as well? <laughs> Sub SCP's got canon redesigns to cut out copyright material. Oh, that makes sense. I I noticed they changed the entry for 173 because I think some of the either artwork for him or some of the stuff that was written for him wasn't allowed to be replicated on the uh, or they couldn't license it or unlicense it or whatever it was. Yeah, 001 has a lot of lore, but that's because there's a lot of rush to try to be 001. The photo used for it was an actual sculpture. Oh, okay. Abel and Kane, aren't they like... They're in the 50s, aren't they? 40s and 50s? The picture was copyrighted. I, I can remember the entry was longer at one point. Because I've gone back. And it's definitely shorter than it used to be. Yeah, even without the picture, there was a lot more written here. Wait, let me- can I view? Oh, maybe there wasn't more written here. I thought there was more written at one point. Huh. Two people lack warm clothes. Oh. Don't I have a tailoring bench? Oh, I don't think I do. Oh, no, I do. It's right here. Okay. I don't think I have a skilled tailor, though. Oh, Corax is. Infinite Ikea is always a classic. We've been talking about that one a bunch. Oh, your ability came off a of cooldown? You didn't tell me? We're still trying to convert Darn Sig. I love the Thaumiel class SCPs are cool. I think that was one of the ones where I was like, I can't believe we just made up another uh, type of SCP. The, the power creep on SCPs. Uh, no, we're going to use the hidden conduit. I don't have any... Any more granite? Are we making granite? Oh. Unsuspend that. We need to make granite forever. More granite! And I changed my priorities, so hopefully Korax will... You know the box thing for determining classes? Yeah, Thaumiels are... Uh, like the container for SCPs or something like that. Like universe level or something. I checked 173. There were no changes. They just removed the picture. Oh, maybe I had hypnotized myself into thinking that the entry was longer. Or maybe the entry in the game was longer. Huh. That's one of those Berenstein, Berenstain universe things.
<laughs> the Mandela effect. Yeah, kind of, yeah. <laughs> Bear stain? Yeah. I could have read a story about 173. Maybe. In the first game, did they... They might have had an entry for it. I don't know. I could just be getting my game mixed up. Or maybe my... There might have been, like, a cloned SCP wiki, and there might have been another website that I'm, like, getting confused with, too. Because I think there's multiple wikis, and I know there's like one true official wiki, but I might have looked at the other wiki and confused myself. I don't know. I'm wrong. I'm just, I'm probably remembering something that's not there anymore, or was never there. Fake memories. I don't know what you call that. That's not anti-mimetic. Or maybe it is an anti-meme. I read something, but now my per my perception abilities have changed because what I read doesn't want to be read again. And it's actually written there. We just can't see it. <laughs> we call it drugs. <laughs> yeah. There's an XK class end of world where there are multiple 173 unleashed on the world. Wow. That one would be pretty... That would be pretty bad. Okay. So this is the style of containment I've built in my own playthroughs. Just use regular steel. Um... Alright, take it easy, Merlin. Have a good night, dude. We need to break this thing. <laughs> Vincent has gotten sick, has gotten food poisoning from eating human skewers. Cause incompetent cook. Oh my god! Low battery! And his viewers showed up! My voice cracked! Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Your batteries are overcharged? Hell yeah. Hope you had a good stream, dude. Welcome, Raiders. What's up, Kyle, Miso, Oscar? Welcome, welcome. Uh, RimWorld's going pretty good. We're um, slowly expanding the base. I'm making my new containment facility. What's up, What's up Master Nest? Uh, we're going to relocate my one anomaly, anomalous entity. And then we'll have space to give him friends in the future. Ideally. Yeah, I have this mod called What's on the Menu. And instead of it just calling meals simple meals, we need to cook more food. Uh, it adds, like, names to the food. So it's just, like, a little bit of fun flavor. And I guess human, human meat skewers, I want to see. Like, Jake's holding... Oh, he made human skewers as well. See? That's what's on the menu. It's made from human meat. It's okay, we're cannibals. So we don't, we don't care. Hey, hey, what's up, mercenary? So yeah, we've been uh, talking about some of our favorite SCPs. Because this, uh... This new expansion to RimWorld is kind of... SCP-like, where... We'll get attacked by... Weird, horrible creatures. And then we can trap them and research from them. What's up, slow hand? How's it going? And we can harvest bioferrite from them. I love that mod. Yeah. Was it you who told me about it? Someone told me about the mod. I was like, I love the idea of... Uh... Expanding the, the food beyond the, uh, just a simple meal. So we'll get, like, porridge and other, 
uh, other foods. The menu probably gets more descriptive the higher quality, excuse me, the higher quality food there is. If that creature escapes, it'll be so mad at you. Well, the idea is I want to try to make it so it has to escape through as many doors as possible. So if I finish this hallway, the idea is if it escapes here, it has to come through here. And I could put like turrets in these hallways and stuff. And then it comes through the barracks, the center of the base, before it has to try to sneak out this way. So it has to go through all my colonists if it wants to get out, and I don't want it to get out. Especially if we get, uh, Revenants again. Do I want this? I don't want this, uh, roofed off yet. Leave that unroofed for now. When do we get new characters? Um, if one of these refugees agrees to join, we'll get a new character that way. Um, I can do some... I actually need to be doing more of the festivals. We can recruit people that way. Okay, right now my base layout sucks, so we need to do... We need a door there. I'll start spamming um, festivals tomorrow. So each of these festivals has about a 50% chance of recruiting uh, a new colonist to the rim. Uh, hey guys, if you want a chance to be named in-game, you can type exclamation point join. And I'll add you to the list that I randomly pull from when I get new characters. Currently I have five people in the list. Yeah, low battery is not afraid to join the rim. There we go. And then uh, I'll do my best to keep you alive and fed and um, safe from the anomalies. We've only had one death so far, but that's because... Can I write my short SCP in chat? Um, I don't know if it'll fit. You can try. Hey, arrow's in. Yeah, the only death we've had so far is Karma Kid, but uh, Karma Kid had uh, bad genes, which made him susceptible to disease, and he succumbed to malaria. And then uh, before I could bury him, we ch chopped him up and ate him. <laughs> Your SCP is an isekai truck? I like it. I like it. Some report living as heroes in this world. Okay, so now my question for your, your Isekai truck SCP is, do people come back from being Isekai'd? Alright. We got the lights turned on. So now I should be able to click transfer and put them in there. Why is it un unroofed? Where's one of my construction workers? Okay, our master is going to build the roof. Ding, okay. So the strength of the containment cell is depending upon the strength of the door, which is made of steel, the strength of the walls, which is granite, which I think is the third strongest material in the game. And then if he's got buddies, which he, he's got room for friends. So this one's got containment strength 71, but I only need 
like 30 to hold this guy? Maybe not even 30. Maybe nothing. Oh, and then I can relocate his Bioferrite Harvester, and we can keep sucking him for Bioferrite. Excellent. Alright, um, our master's abilities are back. Where's Darn Sig? Convert Darn Sig to our alchemy ways. <laughs> Call us return. Hey, Merlin's back! It's been a week of in game time. My chat freeze? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I hypnotized myself. This is an SCP you've written? This is pretty cool if you... I'm gonna build a geothermal right here. I'll be right... So we'll have two geothermals. So we'll have no more power issues ever. Actually, I won't reuse these. Let's break these down. I've never made an SCP, no. I don't know what I would make. Ride him from fun from time to time. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think it's a fun writing experiment. And I think it's fun that, you know, you have this community of writers that, you know, put work into making these. I would be a milkman. <laughs> I like that there's another one that's like a, uh... How do I describe it? It's like a disease? Or like a growth? But the thing is, if you look at it, if you see it, then you can't feel it, you can't hear it, and you can't taste it. And it goes on and on for your other senses. And it's weird, it's just it's this, it's this harmless growth that, like, people see behind the ear, I think is behind the ears where it shows up. Now, let's swap these. Here's an idea, one where the foundation is just unsure if there's- it's an SCP, a D-class who just seems to have survival luck beyond all reason. He comes back, barely a scrape on him. <laughs> That's an interesting idea, because they use the- the D-class personnel to- uh, As like, test subjects for different SCPs. So like, what if a D-class personnel inherited anomalous traits just by being around anomalous entities for so long. Oh. Hey, good job, Jin. Uh oh. This kid's having a tantrum. I'll just let him tantrum, I guess. Okay, so the other thing we can put here, the reason why I like... Uh, this circular design is you can make a shard inhibitor. 
And you can put it in the center here, and it'll hit all four platforms. And then... Ambrosia binge. Alright, Ambrosia is safe. I don't care if you get addicted to it. So then also in this layout, you can hit three beams from the center to each. The only hard part is filling in all this flooring. Wait, why did the containment strength on this go down? Oh, multiple holding platforms. But once we get this inhibitor up, we'll, uh... Heh <laughs> 69! Feeling depressed. Alcohol withdrawal? Well, I, don't ha I actually don't have any beer in the base, Merlin, so... You're just gonna have to suffer. Sorry. Well, this guy has a component. Maybe we can trade for the component. One component. I will take that. They have a Hellcat rifle. Which is one of the new weapons they added in the game. It's an assault rifle with an underbarrel flamethrower that you can fire twice before it needs to be reloaded. Oh, we have Wake Up. We can sell our... We have a lot of drugs. <laughs> Alright, let's... Let's trade drugs for weapons, huh? Okay. That gets the Hellcat rifle. Take the medicine, too. Who should we give the rifle to? Don't know. That same D-Class operative goes on revenge against the Foundation. That's a cool idea, actually. He either has ungodly luck as his anomalous ability, or something else, maybe an ability he discovers along the way. There was a series of fantasy books written by a guy named Piers Anthony. It's called the Xanth series. It's a play on the first to last name of his whole name. But the first book was about a kid. He grows up in a society of sorcerers, and when they come of age, they have to demonstrate a magical ability that they've learned, or they have to go... I think they get excommunicated and have to go live with us regular humans. But anyway, so... Through this journey, the main kid figures out that his power is being able to... It, he's like anti-magic. Like, magic just doesn't work on him as it does other people. Uh, and that's how he's like, survives. <laughs> so that could be a cool idea for... Uh, it just works with the, anomal the idea of a D-class personnel surviving beyond all odds. And it could be a, an anomalous power for him. Okay, the shape of my base is kind of ugly, but it's functional. Okay, my chat definitely did freeze. That sounds ultra interesting. Yeah, they were good books. I, I mean, there's a lot of them, but... Uh, yeah, I always remember the first one. The refugees are leaving. Alright, now the refugees wanted to join us. I forgot to do the ceremony while they were here. 
That's the other reason why I don't give the refugees weapons, because I don't want to give them a bunch of equipment, and then they just say, all right, thanks for the stuff, and then they leave. And it's like, oh, well, can I have my stuff back? No? Okay, good luck. You won't leave? Well, thank you, Senko. I just need to find someone to name Senko so they'll never leave. The main idea would be, doesn't know if he is anomalous or too lucky. Yeah. That's, it's an interesting idea. I like it. And I know the foundation isn't against uh, poor ethics decisions. The concept of killing off and disposing D-Class is an SCP. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that that was documented as an SCP. Yeah, like the, uh, the administrators are like, what, oh, one through five? I actually don't know how many administrators there are in the foundation. But these, like, these are like the top, 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 top levels, the leaders of the foundation. And if they find a, an, an anomalous entity with like a beneficial effect, they like keep it for themselves. So like, I think it's... Uh, either written or theorized that like one of them has like access to a fountain of youth and he's actually been alive for you know hundreds of years or something they're just called the O5 no no nobody knows how many they are oh okay a fake fan over here getting his lore mixed up anyway so the O5 have access un like unrequited access to the anomalies so if they find one with a beneficial effect they can use it on themselves and like well it's under my authority that I can do this Merlin we're gonna let you learn how to craft cut wood or stone if you have nothing to do oh you're gonna go research hey we got disruptor flares excellent all right we're not gonna get we're hopefully not gonna get caught off guard by uh Invisible entities now. Oh, proximity detector is also important. Do I have the... Barrow... Biopharite... Oh, it's under anomaly. There we go. I find it suspicious the janitors have no classification. <laughs> Darn sick, thanks you for his hospitality, but says it's time for him to move on? What? No! Darn sick, why are you leaving me? You were- you had body mastery! You were OP! You were my highest level construction worker! Can I kidnap you? Korax, go get him. First the refugees and now Darnsig. I west him! I west him! Dang. <laughs> I've gone backwards in the number of colonists I've had. Did he take our stuff too? <gasps> he, good thing I only gave him a... Oh crap, what did he take? An assault rifle? No. Bolt action rifle. All right. Hey, what's up, Shaq? Yeah, you showed up with me begging to kidnap someone. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing tonight? All that SCP talk got on your nerves. Yeah. Dang. Well, that's better than you showing up and like infecting people with some anomalous disease or something. Or the bomb collars when you need them. I think that's modded. Just taking a night off of Helldivers. I tried to play a game the other night, and it was really buggy for me. And I just ended up <laughs> turning it off and playing something else. <gasps> Vincent has now reached the biological age of 10 and has experienced a growth moment. 
He developed a new passion by training about a new passion by learning about training animals. He thinks growing food is boring. He's now old enough to be a doctor, warden, construct stuff in art. Choose one skill to increase his passion for construction. Gourmand, which increases cooking but makes him um, go on eating sprees. Pyromaniac is horrible. Uh, cannibal's alright. There's really no drawbacks to it. Dude, I haven't played since they added mechs to the game. Like, I had a really busy March, so I wasn't able to game and stream a whole lot. And then, um, I come back and I'm like, okay, new battle passes and stuff, and, uh, new missions, new orders, and then I, my first game, like, bugged out really hard, and I just, it, <laughs> it really turned me off, but I just said, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go play Dota 2. All these gazelle that we can hunt. Okay, we gotta make sure Jin doesn't get hungry. There he goes. If our zombie loses, uh, if he doesn't get fed regularly, he will go berserk on us. We don't want that. Oh yeah, I'll I'll probably give it a try again. It's um This week I wanted I'm really focusing on Elden Ring and this. Cause Elden Ring has a DLC coming out and this DLC just came out. And then um Hang on, sorry, brain farting for a second. Oh, I I got gifted a couple of games that I thought, you know what, uh, I should play these on stream since they were gifted to me. And then uh, I also got a review code for a game, so I'm going to be playing that game on stream next week. But yeah, Helldivers almost made it as like my Friday or Saturday stream. What did I put for Saturday? I already forgot my schedule. Oh, Friday's Elden Ring. Oh yeah, Buckshot Roulette got gifted to me. So we're gonna check that out. But yeah, maybe next week I'll be able to fit it on the... Play it on Friday or Saturday. Saturday, it could be a fun long stream. Yeah, Elden Ring is gonna be Friday. Well, we're, uh... Oh, we just killed the fire giant, so now we're in the crumbling Ferrum, Ferrum Azula. So we're coming up on the, near the end of the game. And killing the fire giant with the stupid Katar. Oh my god, I think I spent two hours on that boss. Trying to punch it to death. It was... Horrible. <laughs> uh, this is like my sixth or seventh run through the game. So it's, I'm challenging myself by using just one weapon. And I picked the Katar because I always thought they kind of look cool. But uh, I also thought it'd be a fun challenge because I don't normally use dexterity weapons. And their range is so short. And yeah, I'm absolutely right in that it's been a challenge because the rain is, range is so short and the damage is so low. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's been fun. Hopefully it's been fun for people to watch me suffer. <laughs> that fire giant stream, I was like losing my mind because it's like, there's nothing I could do to, uh, change the build since I'm locked in on the weapon, you know. I just do guts builds. 
Uh, I don't know if I've done a guts build in Elden Ring. I've did. I did a quality build as my first playthrough, and then on stream. Oh, I did Strength Arcane, which I guess was kind of like the Guts build. I used the Mariah Executioner Sword, which was awesome. The Drill Sword? Oh my god. That thing was nasty. And then I did another playthrough. Okay, so I did Quality and Moon Veil off stream. Strength Arcane on stream. Merlin's having a tantrum. He's going to destroy drugs. I think he already did it. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine the patience to go through as a bare fist only player on that game. Like, even just using the Qatar, which is a weapon that I can uh, upgrade and Ash of War and all that. Yeah, I, I just don't have the patience for it. Um, so where are my other, I have another off stream, I have two off stream playthroughs I'm working on. One is a strength dex faith build using the God Slayer's great sword. Uh, and that playthrough has been awesome. Um, cause that sword just with its weapon art, oh my God, it just chunks through so much stuff. And then with the faith scaling on the sword allows, I'm using like the, the black flame Spells to go with it. Festival of femi femininity. Uh, it's not for us. But speaking of festivals, we need to do our alchemy festivals. Because we don't have many people. We need to find more friends. Uh, and then my other other playthrough is the is a Dex Arcane playthrough. Which was originally, I was just going to use like two bleeding daggers. But then I found Eleanor's pole blade. And I really like the pole blade. Unimpressive harmony day. Alright, let's do another festival. Come on, make, make prettier lanterns. Man, I was even trying to recruit Darn or convert Darn Sig to the alchemy religion I made. Oh, we got friendly visitors. Which I guess is okay. They will visit and leave a gift. Then you don't really have a whole lot to trade. Okay, well, we've almost converted Merlin to our religion. So that's some progress. Thinking of, like, drawing this hallway out, and then I put, like, the barracks here. And just like a long, narrow room. I could push it up. A couple tiles so I can like make a row of artwork. To make the barracks seem nicer. Oh, but then I don't have my barracks in the center where I kind of want it to deal with the entities. Oh, they left a chain shotgun as a present. Oh my goodness. All right. How very generous of them. It's in the rain though. I need Merlin to come. Get get our shotgun out of the rain so it doesn't get damaged. You know what, Merlin? I'll I'll allow you to study the anomalous entities as well. I need Merlin to get the chain shotgun out of the rain so it doesn't get damaged. What did it sound like I said?
tattered apparel, Vincent. Oh, he has a bad parka. Well, take off the parka. Don't wear it. Uh, anything. Don't wear anything below 50 health. Easy. And no tainted apparel. Don't put on dead people's clothes. I'm trying to think, like, I need Merlin to haul the chain shotgun out of the rain. What did it sound like I said? Or did I just, like, say words that I... weren't in my head? Oh. <laughs> I, <laughs> I get it. Okay, thank you. It's like the uh, cyberpunk meme. <laughs> Why do you come? I can't do the music. Pretend like the music was there. Did you guys just leave all that rice in the rain? It's deteriorating. Well, at least we're making plenty of granite. It's good uh, crafting material. I think we might on oh, deep water bridges. Do I have deep water over here? I do have deep water. Okay. So I think what I'll do is I'll research bridges and then I'll build a big circle and if it happens to run into the water, we'll be fine. Ambrosia sprout. You know what we do here? We grab a growing zone. Plop it down and turn off allow sowing. So they'll harvest the ambrosia automatically and they won't accidentally cut all the plants down. Oh yeah, our master doesn't doesn't haul things. Actually, with two geothermals, I probably don't need my wind turbines much longer. I still have 700 wood. Master Doctor can't do it yet. He's not old enough. All right. I think we'll replace our wooden walls with granite. So a fire doesn't burn this all down. I think the only two walls stronger than granite are uranium and plasteel. Which I don't think will... 
We'll probably get enough uranium, but plasteel I don't think we'll ever get enough of. Oh, there is marble down there. Okay, good. We have a lot of porridge. Okay, five in the morning. A couple more hours, I'll try to do another, another festival. How do you win this game anyway? Good question. Um, there's one way where we can build a spaceship and take off from the planet. Hey, we've successfully turned Merlin into an Alchemical Covenant member. Um, there's a spaceship that's crash landed on the planet, but it's in good conditions. We could migrate to it and take off with it. There's also a... It's like a wealth victory. I don't know how to describe it, but like... We can find a piece to a map, but we have to trade our entire colony and everyone in it, except for, like, three people. Uh, and you basically start over. Um, so you reset with the same playthrough, like, three times, and then you find this um, artifact that wins you the game. And then there's another ending in the royalty DLC, where if we befriend... Um, if we befriend a noble, they will take us away from the planet and allow us to join the noble court. And I thought there was a new ending added with the anomaly DLC, but I don't, I actually don't think so. I think that was fake news. All right, let's do another festival. I wish there was an after game where you could travel and upgrade the spaceship. I there, there was a game I saw that looked like RimWorld on a ship that you get to expand and build and stuff, but I forgot what it was called. <gasps> Wanderer joins Cassie. Please don't be a child. Oh, it's a child. Why do I have so many kids joining? All right. Uh, random user, go! Hey, hey, it's Reggie! Reggie is the randomly named child. And, uh... <laughs> another 11-year-old. Because I'm a father figure, thank you. <laughs> it's better than Darn Sig saying I drive a white van. Uh, how does the random user work? So, it's... I press a button and it pulls a random name from that list. So you joined a ni uh, the list when you typed exclamation point join. Um, and then if your name came up, uh, I would have named you after that person. Or that person. <laughs> I would have named that person after you. Oh, there was a serious bug on YouTube. <laughs> That's so weird that YouTube said I went from 12 views to 0 views and then back up to 16 views. Hey, what's up, Korax? You are still alive. There was someone we were trying to take prisoner and you were healing them. And then when they were well enough, they got away from you. And I had you shoot them. I don't know if you're here for that. Commenting and liking on YouTube doesn't work all the time this stream. Yeah, I don't know if other people are having trouble chatting, but it definitely looks like other people are having trouble with YouTube, because um, even someone in my Discord said the same thing. I don't know. Uh, low battery, are you still here? Did you have some trouble with your stream?
Space Station 13. I don't remember if that's uh if that's what it was called. I'll have to look it up. I guess I could do that real quick. Nothing's happening in the game right now. There's a Space Station 14. Uh, had some issues earlier with another mass shadow ban from YouTube. Wait, mass shadow ban? Were you part of the mass shadow ban? <laughs> Think you need to make your base bigger. Yeah. It's time to convert Master Doctor. We're, we're expanding a little bit by bit. And repairing bit by bit. I'm working on a storeroom. Do you see this out here? Where all my shells are outside? We're making it. Slowly but surely. I guess I'm just too used to playing where I, I just leave everything on the ground. I'll probably build like another circle like this. Attach it out to here and put all my storeroom stuff in it. And then we can move it out of here so then they'll stop crying about how ugly the barracks are. What I really need them to do is to take these tainted clothes out. Alright, well, when everyone's awake again, we'll do another festival. I've got two more that are off a of cooldown. Oh, my cooler broke. We can deconstruct that. That'll get us some more components. Any other spaceship chunks I've missed? Oh, yep, this one over here. How are we doing on meat? We can fill up... <coughs> Excuse me. I was going to say, we can fill up the freezer. There's a lot more gazelles that showed up. Is the zombie still around? Yeah, we haven't gotten rid of the zombie. Where is he? Gen 15. Yeah, we've we've kept plenty of meat in the freezer, so he hasn't gone hungry. Or hungry enough where he's been like, alright, I'm gonna eat you guys now. I think we can deconstruct all that. World record grind of <laughs> longest wave one COD zombies. Yeah, actually our zombie has leveled up his melee from two to three. Ooh. I wonder if I get a, a skill trainer Oh, that'd be a fun experiment. If I get a melee skill trainer, if I can inject that into my ghoul and forcibly train his melee stat. Oh, here's a new event I have not seen. Cultist hate chanters. Hang on, let's just, let's read the message. Cultist hate chanters have arrived. They intend to perform a hate chant ritual to force psychic rage into your colonists and drive them mad. The chant will grow louder and louder until the cultists are stopped. There's five of them. Well. You got an assault rifle. You got a shotgun. You got a sniper rifle. Good enough. Let's go. Let's go kill some cultists. Should we recruit the kids? 
Do any of them have... Reggie's got an interest in shooting stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I actually don't know how dangerous this is. Hate chanters, so they use hate speech. <laughs> Hateful slurs. Alright, Corax is a sniper rifle, so he should be... Cultists are in a trance and won't don't respond when attacked. Okay. So is this just a time limit thing? I have to kill them before we have a mental break. Cultists attacking. They have ended their hate chant and begun to come out of their ritual trance, prepared to defend. Oh. Well, I'm already out here. I am so ready. Yeah, try to take on Jin. I have a zombie. Get up. Oh, headshot. There we go. What do they drop? Steel Gladius. Their weapons look... are way different. They have different textures for the cultist weapons. That's pretty cool. Steel mace, not a bad melee weapon. Oh, Jin, guess what? You've earned yourself a snack. You can have as much cultist meat as you want. Can you cure the zombies? No, I think it's an irreversible process. Oh, <laughs> you ate the leg. Take a potato chip and eat it! There we go. Did you eat the other leg off? Yeah, you did. There was like a weird glitch on the texture where it was showed like an actual hole, hole through him. A long pig grudge. <laughs> we are cannibals over here. We do what we must to survive the rim and that includes cannibalism. I mean, what else am I going to do with all that human meat that just walks itself into my my territory? Garalian prods? I never interacted with these. I guess worst case, we can harvest it and sell it. Wait, Reggie, did you kill that deer on your own? Are you hunting? Oh, you are set to hunt. I didn't mess with any of your skills when you showed up. Okay, don't cook at level one. Don't do art. If you have an interest in growing, I'll give that to you. Does this map not have an ancient danger? Uh, my ancient danger is... Uh-oh. Did I not spawn an ancient danger? Oh, it's right here. I had one map where, I mean, it was the map where I got wiped out, but I had a I had a map where I had two ancient dangers. I've never seen that happen before. Now we've got food poisoning going through the base right now.
All right, we learned proximity detection. Research ghoul infusion, and we can make our own ghouls. <laughs> Put up wet floor signs, yeah. Oh no, where did we get beer from? Oh god, it reset his... What, he's not addicted anymore. <laughs> oh, I was like, crap, we just... I thought I was breaking Merlin's addiction to alcohol. But it looks like we broke it. And now he's, uh... He's drinking a normal amount. Getting this mace and gladius would be good. Those are good melee weapons. Actually, you know what? I'll just... Who has a passable melee stat? Merlin and Ara, Ara Master. Did I just say Ara Ara Master? I stuttered on saying Ara. <laughs> it just came out Ara Ara Master. Okay. Uh, we got two more festivals to do. Our schedule got interrupted by the hate chanters. The hate army chanters. Why are you in a psychotic state when you're ravenously hungry? Just eat. Oh, Korax got sick too. How's their food poisoning going around? Oh, this guy had a growth coming off of him. A little gross. Hopefully ghouls don't get frostbite. Comfortable temperature minus 40, plus 40, okay. I don't set my freezers to colder than minus 19, so he should be fine. Okay, everyone gets some sleep, and then we're gonna have a couple of festivals in the morning. If we're not all too sick from the food poisoning. Just watch little Vincent Horf his food all over the floor. Alright, Merlin's gonna wake up. After Merlin eats lunch, then we're gonna spam some festivals. Aura is in a mental state. Okay, never mind. When Aura Master breaks free from their psychotic wandering, then we'll hold the festival, because I need the... We have less than 10 people, so I need as many people as I can participate for in, uh, quality bonus. Also, I need them to snap out of it so they can uh, convert Master Doctor to our alchemy religion. The abilities are ready, but still in psychotic wandering. Bro, did we lose a whole day to you being in a psychotic state?
I felt like we went from nighttime to nighttime. Okay, you've had. I get it. You've had a bad day. Can you come back into the fold? There we go. Okay. Now we'll try to. Do some festivals and get some new recruits. Since Darn Sig left us. I turned off. Okay, good well. Sometimes we can get new recruits from missions, so we need to keep an eye out for that too. I just don't want any more kids. <laughs> the last three festivals, I th no, two of the festivals have been kids, and I think Master Doctor came from a quest. Okay, use the power on... There we go. Festival time. 85%, yep. See, that extra person gave another 10% to the quality. So now, hopefully, we're at high enough quality, and we win the coin flip. And we get a new... A new alchemist to join. Yes! No, visitors. Well, th that'll be okay. The last visitor we had gave us a chain shotgun. I'd be happy with another gun. Oops. Roof collapse. <laughs> and it took Master Doctor's eye out. Okay, where are my doctors? Corax? Paging Dr. Korax. I don't have anything worth trading. Dang, that sucks. Hey, he was tough, too. His eye should have taken twice as much damage to get crushed. Alright, note to self, when we build a monuments... And then remove monuments. Uh, we are not putting roofs on our monuments anymore. All right, we'll do another. A tox pack and a. Flak jacket. Okay, flak jacket is cool. Tox pack is whatever. We will never use this. Hi, everybody! That's a Dr. Nick voice. Hi, Dr. Nick! It's me and my trusty bone saw. But we don't need a bone saw. His eye got crushed. We, we need a new eyeball, is what we need. Good news for Master Doctor, if he lives long enough with us, he'll get a bionic eye. Holy cow, it's already like 10.15. Play for about another hour more. Then, uh, unfortunately, I need to get ready for, for bed and working tomorrow. Tomorrow is leg day in the gym. I've been trying to get back on the workout grind. 
My arms are absolutely sore. But that's because I haven't been working out in a long time. So now my body's like, why are you doing this to me? But it's just a little bit of maintenance I can do to myself, and it should go a long way. I've left the I've left the COVID wait on too long. It's time to let it go. Oh, we have tons of granite, so we should be able to put granite floors down. Oops. That should make people happy to have nice floors. my animal situation like I have too many males I usually keep two males if I had 10 refugees come to my camp right now would I accept them oh that'd be tough because I don't know if I have the food to sustain 10 people do I have enough beds one two three four five six I can make one more swirl of beds. Or I could convert this from prisoner to regular. It'd be tough. I mean, I'd, I'd take them. No, I... Man, I might let that one go if I had a 10 refugee join right now. Because what if they turn out to be traitors and they want to attack me? I'd have 7 versus their 10 and half of my 7 is kids. Yeah, I think that would be uh that would be a disaster. They show up, eat me out of food. And then once we're starving, then they turn on me. Yeah, I wouldn't want that. <laughs> Daniel's got the right point. He's thinking he's that's some good cannibal thinking. You'd survive the rim. Yeah. Sure, we can have 10 <laughs> 10 refugees join. They just have to live with the fact they might have to eat half themselves. The other five will be well fed. Alright, good. Korax is making clothes like I want him to. Putting that level 9 crafting to work. Okay, I've got one more alchemy festival we can do to try to get um, recruits. Yep, can't we grow food? Oh yeah, we are. We have we have rice. Um, the problem is I'm only actually I'm not even growing as much as we use. I probably need to grow a lot more rice. Uh, Ooh, don't do that. The problem is taking on 10 people right now, I don't have enough food to sustain that. And the rice would take time to grow in. Hey, pass the remote. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, raiders. Hopefully you had a good stream. We're playing RimWorld tonight with the new Anomaly DLC, which is a horror-themed DLC, which 
has some SCP elements. I have one contained entity in my base. And uh, he's got a holding cell where I can find three friends for him. Oh, thank you, Senko. They won't have enough food, the raiders need to eat each other. If, uh, I've never done gladiator fights, but that could be fun. Uh, on a playthrough, is to add gladi gladiator fights. And then, uh... Wait, isn't there a joke that goes something like that? Why was the Roman fighter happy that he... ate his girlfriend? Because he was a gladiator? Something like that. Glad he ate her? But yeah, what if we had a gladiator match? And the winners got to eat, and the losers were food. Oh yeah, Sanko's right. If you type exclamation point join, you can uh, get added to the list of names to be... To have someone named after you in the game. That's where all these names came from. And then I'll do my best to keep you alive. Or you can go the way of Darn Sig and... Uh, Leave. And then I miss you because you were an OP character. Oh, I have a whole extra chain shotgun. Okay, hopefully I'll get a grown-up on this next festival. I won't have another kid to join. I mean, at least the kids, you can kind of, like, pick their traits and you can grow them to be better fighters. <gasps> Wanderer joins a machine collector named West. Well, we'll rename him. <gasps> 19 crafting! Oh, yes! We don't need Korax to craft anything. Actually, you know what? You don't need to worry about hauling or mining. I only want you to craft and research. Hey, you're a decent doctor, too. Uh, alright. Who is going to be my craft... My craftsman or woman? Senko! This one's you. So when I reform the religion, uh, I typically add human primacy, which unlocks access to the uh, crafting specialist. And you being... 19 level 19 in crafting and as a cra crafting specialist you're gonna make the best equipment like watch whatever pants you're working on I wouldn't be surprised if these if these come out like masterwork quality or legendary oh excellent excellent is good too but you're going to you're going to turn out a bunch of high quality clothing and here in a little bit when we learn how to make guns actually we already know how to make guns you're going to make high quality guns for us too which is also important but having a uh, having a high quality crafter is very good so glad to have you aboard I need to make an electric smithy, too. I don't think I have one yet. Here, I'll even make you a comfortable chair. Of 
put our tool chests in the center of the room. Man, Senko is like the perfect recruit off of that festival. But now what will Korax do? Everything else. Korax actually has really high stats even, you know, distributed around. So now he can focus on mining and gardening and construction. Sicko, uh, Senko is sickly and a wimp and delicate. So I will not, you will not be put into combat at all. Unfortunately, sickly means that you will get randomly afflicted by illnesses. We have to keep an eye out for that. <laughs> Hang on. A 51-year-old defense lawyer named Rusty Shackelford <laughs> is calling from nearby. He's hiding from his enemies. <laughs> if you accept him, his enemies will set up a nearby site to harass you. There's a smoke-spewing machine belching smoke over the whole region and two boom rats wandering nearby. The threat will remain until you go destroy it. Uh... <laughs> uh man I almost don't want to rename him because I love the name Rusty Shackelford from uh Better Call Saul oh I was thinking uh Dale Gribble from King of the Hill Rusty Shackelford is one of his aliases and it, ju it just fits Dale so perfectly that he would <laughs> he would be hiding away from his enemies by a smoke spewing machine Make sure to take medicine when you're sick. Yeah, there's um, implants that we can research that will uh, help. Oh, they sterilized you. That sucks. Um, there are implants that we put on your kidneys that actually make you fight diseases better. So once we research those, we'll make sure to put those on you. I'm, tr I'm trying to think. The other problem with Rusty is he's 51 years old. And humans in this game, when they start pushing 50, is when they start getting diseases. And they start getting sick. And I mean, like, chronic illnesses. So I don't... And it's not telling me anything about his stats. There's no more information. I might let... Oh, I really want to go recruit him, though. I also don't know how far away the smoke spewer is. It's really tempting. Okay, we need to make... If we're gonna go rescue Rusty, we need to make some bed rolls. What if he has god stats and can shoot lightning? Hopefully his stats are good. I don't know about shooting lightning. <laughs> there are psychic powers, but you have to earn them. I don't think you get them just by rescuing people. We have packaged survival meals. So we do have food that we could take on an expedition. We would just have to deal with the boom rats. Who has my high cooking? Oh, it's Korax. So it'd be hard to send Korax. Might be one of those where I send Merlin. If I can send the ghoul, that would work too. Just have the ghoul run in, tank the boom rats, hopefully not die to the explosions. Oh, it's expiring in 20 hours. It's just two boom rats. You shoot them and they explode. Alright. Oh, he automatically joins. Oh! He's got high shooting already. 
No diseases. Okay. Uh, he won't do a whole lot of work. High social, high intellect. Alright, you know what, Rusty? You're... <laughs> We're gonna send you to go deal with that smoke spewer <laughs> that you are creating. If you're creating the problem, you're gonna be part of the fix. The solution. Alright. Alright, Senko made two bedrolls. I think I send Korax, Rusty, and the Ghoul. And you get Rusty in some clothes first. Actually, Rusty, you can wear the flak jacket. I'll let you wear armor. How does that sound? The only unfortunate thing is Rusty is staggeringly ugly. Okay, let's pull a new name. Hey, it's Arrow! <laughs> Actually, you know what? I don't want you doing the... You get the Hellcat rifle. I don't want you using the crossbow. The crossbow doesn't do any damage. Okay, so my goal is to send Korax Arrow and the Ghoul to deal with the Smoke Spewer. At least Aura Master, Merlin, and Sanko and the kids by themselves. How far away is the Smoke Spewer? Please don't be that far away. It's kind of far away. A half a day's travel. Okay, we'll bring the alpacas to carry stuff. Sending arrow, Korax. Oh, can I bring the ghoul? Yes! Okay. Days of food zero. Can I not? I never understood this part of the game. The, the caravan system sucks. I'll, I'll be honest. Um, so I'm picking the people who I'm sending out of the base. The animals I add will help carry equipment. They need bedrolls to sleep in, medicine if they get hurt, and then food to make the journey. Uh, and we're going to pack all that alpaca meat, so... Actually... Bring all that human meat. That'll work better. So that way, hopefully, the ghoul has plenty of meat to eat, and he won't get angry on the run. It is like Oregon Trail. That is a fair comparison. Okay. So with the alpacas, they can make it in a third of a day. So it won't take them longer than a whole day to make it there and back. And it's two boom rats and a smoke spewer. So they just shoot a couple of rats, break the smoke spewer. Because the smoke spewer is going to be blanketing this whole area in smoke. And smoke is bad because it blocks out the sun... And then it makes it harder for us to grow our plants. And we need plants to eat. All right, there go our heroes. Now it's not Oh, actually, it is impossible. I'm watching our plant slow down. Okay, so... Vegamon's desire, desire charity. Sorry, kids. No charity here. They want... If they ask for herbal medicine, maybe... Yeah, well, actually, no. I don't get any... I don't think you get anything from the charity quests.
Okay, we made it. Oh, here come the boon rats. Okay, send Jin out first. An arrow. And Korax. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, we did it. All right, now we just need to go kill the smoke spewer. That wasn't so hard. Has this game ever happened in real life? Like in the past? I don't know. <laughs> This game's all all made up. Can we stop the fire? Uh, we could, but it's not going to bother us. Unfortunately, the giant smoke cloud weather will override any other weather. So sometimes, well, usually if there's a lot of fire, the game will go, okay, time to spawn some rain, put out the fire. But, um... If there's, a, if there's a forced weather event like the giant smoke cloud from this machine, uh, rain won't happen, so. What do you mean this game is fake? <laughs> U.S. History Simulator? I don't know. I don't know about that. But it gets jokingly referred to as the War Crime Simulator. But you gotta survive the rim somehow. Booyah. Alright. So I come out here, reform caravan, come back home, and then we bring home the steel and plasteel. Bring home all our travel supplies. Is this a. We don't need it. Okay, we still have four days of food. We still have tons of human meat, rice, berries, medicine, packaged survival meals. But can you make cities and make countries? Um, I don't know. That's a good question. I think it's possible to form a caravan off and settle in a new area. No, you can't. Your faction can only have one base. Never mind. So this is this is it. But I can build up this area and fill it in pretty much as much as I want. Which ideally I would like to do. I like to gradually grow bigger and bigger bases. Uh, we're not going to fight these guys. We can't trade with them. So have a nice day. But, uh, yeah, eventually I'll, I try to grow out and grab all the steam geysers to make geothermal vents. So that way we have tons of power to fuel all the lights and air conditioning <laughs> that a big base requires. Um, and then, you know, you're going to want to wall it all off. So raids don't attack your, your people and your animals and your food. I mean, there's a margin where I can't build in, and that's this white line around the edge. So there always leaves room for things to spawn in to attack us. But how many times have I played this? Oh, I've played this a lot. I have 
2,500 hours of playtime on this. I rarely win this game. Yeah, I've only beaten this game... I Like, I've only seen the credit scene twice. Like, I don't... I don't play this game to beat it. I play this to... <laughs> see how far I can take things. Not even breaking 10k hours. I don't know how I could break 10k hours. I'm only a quarter of the way there. I'll tell you what, that whole journey was very fruitful. Getting... Getting Arrow on board was really good for us. Because he came over as a... High shooting specialist. We actually might... Be able to make him a shooting specialist within the Ideologian. What is he... He won't cook, construct, grow, mine, smith, tailor, craft, or qu quarry. But, I mean, those are all stuff that he won't do anyway. So he'll still have social intellect. Does he lose animals? No, he doesn't lose animals because he can still hunt. Yeah, he might make a good shooting specialist. Who's my favorite villager right now? Oh, that's a good question. Um... Korax is up there because his stats are, he's like a jack of all trades. So like if I get the corrupted ob obelisk that lets me duplicate characters, I'd probably duplicate Korax because he's got high stats in a lot of fields. So construction, mining, plants, crafting, and shooting. So he's, he can sh he's a good soldier. He can shoot stuff. He can construct stuff. Uh, planting is good to keep us fed. His cooking is five, which is okay. Crafting is also a really good stat. Like, yeah, Korax is one of the best I have. The low intellect is whatever. Uh, that just refers to research speed, but he can still do research. Um, and then, like, his traits are really good. So Sanguine is good. He has a permanent mood buff of plus 12. Uh, Psychopath is actually really good because now he won't care about people dying, so no mental breaks. Psychically deaf kind of sucks because now he can't learn psychic abilities or use them. But then at the same time, too, he's not affected affected by them, so... Um, so, I mean, that one kind of sucks because I like to use the psychic powers, but it's not horrible. Am I good at those stats in real life? I was thinking about it, what I would look like if I made myself what my stats would be. I'd probably have uh, a little bit of artistic, a little bit of intellectual. <laughs> Not to toot my own horn too much. Um, my cooking would be decently high. I'm a good cook. Uh, my melee and shooting would probably be like three or four. Because I do shoot guns as a hobby, and I've practiced martial arts, so I'm like... I wouldn't be terrible at it. Yeah, where it says basic familiarity. Yeah, I think it'd be like a three or four. Construction, I would have no clue. I'd be an utter beginner on that. Mining, no clue. Um, I'm not a good gardener. Um, I love Rocky. I can, I can train Rocky, so I can probably train, you know, I'd have some familiarity. I don't think I'd have anything higher than a five in any stat. Medical, I would have no clue. Social, I think I'd be pretty good. Furniture counts as construction, yeah. Constructing and deconstructing structures and furniture. So you build the floor, you put the floors down, you build the walls, you build the beds, the chairs, everything else. Um, I have no experience with that in real life. And then I don't know what I put pick as traits. Um, yeah. If 
<laughs> is mental breakdowns a useful skill? No, Patrick, it's not. Neither is lower back pain. Oh, but if you had my health tab. <laughs> um, so, like, some of these here. Actually, I don't think any. I, ha I don't have anyone with any health issues. That's pretty good. I would have the chronic stomach pain. That, or the chronic stomach disease. That would be me. Oh, my tummy aches. Can I do all the flying martial arts like the masters? No, I did Taekwondo for five, six, maybe six years. Yeah, it's probably six years. So I had a, I had a second degree black belt. Um, I got bored with Taekwondo and started doing like other martial arts, but I didn't study them like super seriously to go for a black belt or anything. I just wanted to see what was out there. And then I probably haven't practiced martial arts in like 10 years. But my teenage years into my early 20s, I was, I was doing Taekwondo. I was pretty good at it. I won some, some tournaments. But now I've moved and, uh, not a whole lot of options for martial arts out here if I wanted to get back into it. Hey, Soul, how's it going? We got you in at number five. There are... Does that mean there are five people in the list? Okay, so we have Cicero, Fog, Abby, Low Battery, and you. So yeah, that is five. Just got off of work. Oh, that sucks. Well, hey, at least work's over, right? Unfortunately, man, I'm going to be wrapping things up here soon because I have work in the morning, so. It's coming up on 11 o'clock for me. Double checking clock, making sure you're not supposed to still be at work. <laughs> What do I have to do tomorrow? There's, I have a lot of requests for a quote out tomorrow. I need to follow up with my suppliers and say, hey, where's my stuff? My customers are looking for their stuff. So unfortunately it's a lot of, it's not the fun part of the job. It's the worst part of the job, which is phone calls and emails tomorrow. You made affiliate on Twitch. Hey, congratulations, man. That's awesome. I'm a mean drug dealer. Yeah. <laughs> Do I get to fly out to get the stuff? No. No, I only travel to see my customers. I don't get to travel to pick up the parts. We... They have this fancy invention called UPS and FedEx. So when I find find the stuff that I need, it's uh, it, we just truck it in. Oh, Master Doctor. He's 10 years old now. Let's see. What do we want to do for him? Okay. Um, he was a little bit smarter than Vincent, so he had a better birthday. We can pick three skills to increase his passion for. Um... From cooking, mining, artistic, intellectual animals, and melee. Uh, I don't know if he'll learn cooking fast enough, but we can start him there. I, oh, I always seem to never have enough cooks. Melee is good because he'll fight stuff. I don't know if animal grows through hunting. Oops. I don't know what I just hit. I don't know if animals grows through hunting or not. He's not old enough to do intellectual, so making that a, a passion seems like a waste. His artistic is really low, and I don't know if I can train that one up. Do 
Just do the human solution and poke everything with a stick. He's got one more birthday, which I think is 13. Is, I mean, growth moment. I mean, he's going to have three more birthdays, but... If I could get him double passion and artistic... I mean, I could have him churn out some, like, crummy sculptures early, but I can grow that stat. All right, a trait for him. Lazy is bad. Cannibal's okay. Fast Walker will probably take. Kind is nice. Psychically dull kind of sucks. I think I'm going to take Fast Walker. This will get him to run around faster. So when he finishes cooking, for example, he'll, he'll get to the kitchen or the freezer faster to put the food away. Or if I recruit him to fight, he'll get to the front line faster. It basically cuts down a lot of the dead time in between tasks. So he gets from task to task to task faster, makes him more efficient. I think that's the best one. Tough and fast walker is a really good... Master Doctor is shaping up to be a really good pawn. Now, can I do the thing? No, I can't do the thing. I don't have the... The mod hasn't been updated. There's a mod where I can break down cooking. And I can tell him to just... Butcher meat? Actually, I wonder if I have... Oh, there is a way I can do it. Okay. I'll... I'll let Master Doctor cook. But... He's not allowed to cook food because you need to have a cooking skill of at least four. That's what I can do. So if I set this, he won't cook. Or is it cooking pudding? <laughs> Milk and cereal. <laughs> okay, so if I do it this way, then he can only butcher, butcher creatures for their meat. Which will gradually level up his cooking skill without him accidentally creating something bad that will cause food poisoning for us. Cooking super hard, you have to reach all the shells and need lots of balance. I think the hard part of cooking is uh, making sure everything's cooked through all the way. And making sure you prepared everything so everything finishes at the same time. But the dinner I made tonight basically uh, I cooked <laughs> chicken and mashed potatoes and roasted carrots. And the nice thing is all three of those took about 15 minutes exactly. <laughs> so once the potatoes were boiling, carrots in the oven, chicken in the pan, boom. Everything is going to be done in 15 minutes from now. So we have a smithy for Senko to craft at. Really need the machining table so Senko can start making guns. Here we go. Yeah. All right, now we can make guns. Excellent. We don't need any right now. Where did my disruptor pack go? There we go. Blowback operation. Gas operation next. Actually, you know what? Merlin with the disruptor pack is okay. I might make one more. No, I don't need to make one more. So I'll make one more. 
Yeah, I'll make one more for Arrow. Why not? Arrow's got the Hellcat. So he can... Nah, maybe not. Because he, he has the Hellcat. He can light him on fire. Alright, so I'm going to use the rest of my bio ferrite for now. We're going to grab... So this bio ferrite plate is a... Uh, The bioferrite's the material that we get from the entities, so we can pattern the floor with it, and then um, that helps increase the containment strength of our devices in there. You should totally put a couple prison beds in the containment chamber. I don't, I don't know if you can mix prisoners and containment people, But maybe I do build like one wing off and I make my prison over here and that's my D-class personnel to <laughs> interface with the the uh, entities. Oh, I didn't put any chairs down here. I made a third third desk and didn't put any chairs. That was Arrow slaughtering one of the alpacas. Oh, Senko got sick with the plague. Yeah. Senko, you're going to have to stick in bed for now. And then we're going to make sure our best doctor takes care of you. Paradise tending. Chunks of spacecraft landed nearby. Excellent. Free components! Actually, I have tons of heal root. Over a hundred pieces, so we're not gonna... Go after that. Oh, this is cute. The kids are watching Korax work, so they can learn. Uh, Alright, what do we want to learn next? Skip abduction. Actually, that's a fun one. It's a psychic ritual where we can teleport prisoners to our base. So that's another way we can add recruits to, <laughs> to our ranks. Teleport them in and then... Uh, Slowly break down their will and recruit them. All right, no more festivals. All right, I think that's going to be my stopping point here. Senko should survive the plague, no problem. We got Arrow as a new recruit, who's a good sharpshooter. Not good at anything else, but the good news is we have him. Actually, I just realized the sharpshooter role requires him to wear a cape, and that means he can't wear the flak jacket. So that kind of sucks for his armor situation. Oh, well, we'll figure that out next time. So Arrow is new. Senko is new, our super high-level crafter. And Reggie, our new kid recruit. I'll do your best to recover. Yeah, that's the drawback to the sickly trait. 
It means you have an awful immune system and you'll get sick more often than usual. So, when these disease events happen, they only affect you. You know, so it takes you out of the fight a little bit because we got to get you to rest up. But when you're working, you're, you're going to make some of the best equipment for us. And then, like I said, there's... There's some research down here. One of these. Immuno Enhancer. So this one helps you get... It'll be a while before we get to molecular analysis, but... We'll put two of these babies in you, one on, one on each kidney. It'll improve your immunity gain speed by 16%. Um... So you'll get sick, but you'll recover much faster, and then we'll get you back to work. I don't think diseases actually transfer in RimWorld, so you could be sick with plague or malaria or the flu, but you won't pass it on to anyone else. But the problem is they can kill you. You see where it says 20%? That's how, long, how far along the disease has progressed. At 100%, you die. The immunity number at the bottom, though, if we get that to 100%, then you've developed an immunity to the disease and you can't die from it. So, right now the plague is at 20%, your immunity is at 28.6. So, you're out outpacing the disease, you'll be fine. It's just, unfortunately, it means I have to, you have to wait um, probably four more days and then you'll be healed. And back, back to action. I could also have Aura Master cast... Preach health on you, and this will improve your immunity gain rate. Actually, it's not a bad idea, because thankfully, Arrow came over already of our religion. We didn't have to con- Oh, no, we did convert him. Actually, yeah, let me do this before I forget. This should double your immunity gain. So instead of four days, we can get you healed in two days. try my ultra best not to die that's great i'll try my ultra best to keep you alive <laughs> there you go preach health oh immunity gain speed plus 25 percent. okay so from four days to three days still pretty good but now it should be like should be impossible for you to die Hey, our master made a very nice dining chair. Ooh, ah. All right. We're going to save and quit to menu. Hey, that was a... That was actually a pretty good short stream. A short evening stream. So, thank you guys for hanging out. I hope you guys had fun. And uh, enjoyed seeing the struggles and perils everyone went through. I... Unfortunately, I have to go to sleep because I have work tomorrow, but I will find a couple people for us to raid. Thanks for the show. Always fun. Hey, I'm glad you could watch Daniel. Oh, Raina. She's crocheting a cinema roll. Cinema roll? She started an hour ago, so she might still be live. All right. So, YouTube guys, be sure to say hi to Raina and Say how cute her wooble is. And then on Twitch, who should we raid? I hope you have perfect dreams. Well, thank you so much. I hope you have a great night, too. I hope everyone has a great night. <laughs> we could raid Dingus or Falu or... Um... What is... Oh, she's playing Getting Over It. Let's see who else is streaming. Oh, let's raid Cyber. He's playing Lethal Company. Raid Cyber the Wolf. Alright, guys. I don't have a stream tomorrow, but I'll be back Thursday. I'll be playing Gunsmith Simulator. Um, one of my friends gifted me that game. So, I haven't played it yet, so what better place than to play on stream? So, that should be uh, a fun time. So, have a good rest of your night. Hopefully, you guys have a good 
Wednesday. And then I'll see you Thursday for Gunsmith Simulator. But um, till then, if you're on Twitch, say hi to Cyber. If you're on YouTube, say hi to Reyna. And then uh, I'll uh, see you guys next time. Oh, and then today I published a review on the channel of the game Balatro. So if you want to check that out, if you're interested in Balatro, um, you might want to check that video out. All right. That's all I got for you guys. So uh, take care. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.